All right, so I'm on my final day here at my visit with Darfurst. Uh, we actually did do a little work uh, yesterday. Spent a lot of time getting this set up. This is the new addition here. So what I really, the, the work part of it was getting the hitch installed. I did not have a hitch mount, so now that's in. It's fully installed and it seems to be working out good. I did have to trial and error. I bought one bike rack that didn't work out. Returned it, found this Reese brand one. Seems to be working out. So the bike just sits like that. And I just want to, while I'm here, definitely give a big, big, big thank you to Dar First. He gifted this bike to me. Thank you, man. I right really on. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get to get out and do any riding. He's got a bike of his own, but um, hopefully we'll be having some videos showing me having fun on this awesome bike. So yeah, there's the final setup. I may have to do some modifications, uh, but I'm just going to take it easy, see how it works out. But it looks like it's a good solid setup here. Um, I do have it locked on there. I'm going to actually purchase a second lock, so it's a double locked. May have to move my license plate. It's a little hidden, so I'm just going to go day by day, see how it works out and uh, hang out for a little bit here we've got a couple another hour or so before i gotta head out yeah. so i just want to appreciate again for the hospitality uh, it was great i yeah. always enjoy our visits we had a good time yeah. so all right um yeah once again it was a nice little spot here we did have some issues i know in the video i mentioned i pulled in i wasn't sure if i could park here turns out they wanted to be parked up front no big deal but uh just kind of goes with living in a van so anyway be on the road soon the venture will continue Thanks again, Mark. Yep, yeah, anytime. You're awesome. Well, I just stopped at a Walmart, got a few extra things, got an extra lock for the bike and a pump. So yeah, I'm excited about getting this bike out for a ride. Going to a free camp spot. This looks like it's about 20 miles out from this Walmart. There is a ton of conservation areas in Missouri with free camping, so I'm gonna take advantage of one of those. It is about 4.30 p.m., so work traffic is kind of kicking up. I'm hoping that I don't hit too much of that. pretty area. This is uh, Mark Twain National Forest. You're camping out here with the cows. <laughs> I love how they all just stare. <laughs> They're like, who's this guy on our turf? Pretty cows. Making me hungry for burgers. There was very little information on this spot. Found it on freecampsites.net. Basically in the description just said wildlife viewing, dispersed camping, first come, first serve. Let's see what there is. I hope there's actually more than a spot or two to camp. Wow, this is it. Just a loop. Interesting. Huh. Not really a whole lot as far as camp areas go. Yeah, I think I might, I don't know, kind of not feeling it. I think I might look up another spot. One of those spots on the way in. I mean, it's nice, but there's like no trails or anything. Huh. Do you got a little bit of time before sundown, so I think I might just look up one of the other places that were not right nearby. Dry Fork Recreation Area, Mark Twain National Forest. Fourteen day limit. We got a donation box. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Very cool. 
Little pull-in sites with a fire pit, picnic table. There's a water spigot there. Not sure if it's on, but... Cool. This is just what I was looking for. There's a vault toilet ahead. Looks like there are some little trails. These guys are running a generator, so I might uh, see if I can get a little ways from them. Not the best for sun on the solar panels, but I charge while I drive as well, so for an overnight, this should be awesome. Looks like I'm gonna be able to get pretty level. Well, this has turned out to be a very peaceful campground. Uh, the truck I passed up there earlier that was running the generator, they actually pulled out, and it was weird, when they pulled out, the generator was still running on the back of the truck. I don't know what they were using that for, but found a nice little spot here. Got a little picnic table, grill, fire pit. And it looks like there's an area to hitch up horses. There is a little bit of horse droppings, but it's far enough away from my camp. I can't smell it or anything. Got a water faucet right over here, just between these trees. And I uh, found a nice little level spot here to park. Really enjoying it. The sun's setting. And like I said, it's just really peaceful and quiet out here. Oh, well, I had a wonderful night's sleep. It is so nice to wake up this peaceful place here. Went for a little walk this morning, and uh, just the smells out here with all the trees, just amazing. Uh, so anyway, just getting some coffee going, my usual fashion. Oh, this is going to taste good. Nice. All right. Get that going there. Well, I just got back from a nice little bike ride and it is lunchtime. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do up some chicken tacos for lunch. Uh, when I was at Walmart, I picked up a uh, tray of their fried chicken, which I really like. I just have a couple pieces and then refrigerate the rest. And I'm able to either eat it cold or make other things with it. So I'm just taking a piece of that fried chicken. I'm going to actually slice it up into chunks, reheat it, as well as browning up a tortilla. And then just real simple, just I use this uh, coleslaw mix. It's cabbage, shredded cabbage and carrots. Put that right in there on top of the chicken. A little bit of my Cholula hot sauce and got myself some nice chicken tacos. So I've just got that chicken sliced up into little strips there. And I'm gonna start out with getting the tortillas heated up a little bit. Get a couple of those browned up. And then I'll throw the chicken in because that'll heat up really quick. And all I have to do is top it off with the coleslaw, some hot sauce. I do have some shredded cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I think that'll be good on there. Okay, you just have that chicken in there. That will just take a quick minute to heat up because it's already cooked. All right, let's get this fixed up. Got that cabbage. I prefer cabbage on tacos. Actually, I rarely eat iceberg lettuce anymore. Cabbage is just so much more nutritious and crunchy. And uh, I get the coleslaw mix because it's got the shredded carrots in there. Just makes it a lot more healthy. So we'll start with that. Some shredded cheese next. There we go with the cheese. Beautiful. This is the Chipotle Cholula hot sauce. Just a little bit on top. And there we go. We got a nice chicken taco. And now for the taste test. That is awesome.